Have you ever wondered why my dog sniff my crotch? Why does my dog circle before pooping and why my dog barks at nothing? Tune in to find out the hidden meanings behind your furry friend's bizarre behaviors. Number 17. Why dogs circle before pooping? Dogs spin in circles before they go to the bathroom for a few reasons. First, they're checking for any danger like snakes in the grass. Going potty leaves them vulnerable, so they want to make sure it's safe. Also, they're marking their territory. Dogs have scent glands on their paws, so as they spin, they're leaving messages for other dogs. Researchers also found that dogs like to poop along the Earth's north-south axis. So by circling, they're trying to find the right direction to do their business. Number 16. Rolling on their back in the grass. Dogs roll in the grass for lots of reasons. They might be scratching an itch or trying to change how they smell. What we find nice smelling might not be the same for them. For instance, if they have scented shampoo on them, they might rush outside to roll in something stinky. Another reason could be to mark their territory. By rubbing themselves on things like carpets or new dog beds, they're saying, this is mine. Interestingly, rolling in grass goes way back to when their wild ancestors did it to hide their smell while hunting. Wolves, for example, would roll in plant-eating animal droppings or dead animals to sneak up on prey. That's why your dog might sniff the ground before rolling in it. And sometimes they'd roll just because it feels nice. Number 15. Why dogs lick you? Dogs lick you for many reasons. They might want to show love and affection or groom you because they care about you. Sometimes they just like the taste of your salty skin. But licking can also be a survival instinct. For instance, when wolves come back to their pups after hunting, they bring back food in their mouths, and the pups lick it. This behavior might have passed down to dogs. Plus, when you react to your dog licking you, like laughing or petting them, they feel good and keep doing it because they like the attention. Number 14. Why dogs sleep with open eyes? Yep, it's true. Some dogs sleep with their eyes partially open, but what you're really seeing is their third eyelid, not the actual eyeball. Dogs have this extra eyelid that covers their eye when they sleep. It's pink and helps clean away any dirt and keep the eye moist. When your pup is awake, this eyelid tucks into the inner corner of the eye, but you might still catch a glimpse of it sometimes. Some experts think dogs evolved this third eyelid as a way to stay safe. Sleeping with eyes partly open tricks predators into thinking they're awake and alert, ready to defend themselves. Number 13. Why dogs smell people's crotches? Dogs sniff people's crotches for similar reasons as when they sniff each other's behinds. The crotch area has special sweat glands called apocrine glands that make chemicals called pheromones. These pheromones give info about a person's age, health, gender, and mood. When dogs sniff someone's crotch, they're trying to learn about that person. Interestingly, dogs seem more interested in people who recently had sex or women who are menstruating, ovulating, or just gave birth. Similarly, when dogs sniff another dog's behind, they're gathering info about them. Dogs have glands in their rear end that release chemicals, especially unneutered male dogs, as they sniff around looking for a mate, trying to figure out if a female is pregnant or ovulating. Number 12. Why dogs follow you everywhere? There are simple reasons why dogs stick to us like glue. Through centuries of living with humans, dogs became more social and dependent on us. They went from wild wolves in packs to being our companions. So it's no surprise they want to be with us all the time. Plus, when they get goodies or love when they're near us, they learn to stick close for more of that good stuff. Young pups, especially under six months old, see us as their family and trust us like they would their mom. And of course, their constant companionship is also a way of showing their loyalty and love. Number 11. Why dogs stare at you so intently? Dogs are naturally attached to their owners and love to watch what we're up to. They stare because they're curious about our actions and want to know what's coming next. They might be waiting for us to grab the leash for a walk or give them a command for a treat. Sometimes, they stare to get us to do what they want, like giving them food from the dinner table. But a lot of the time, they're just showing love. Studies even say that this kind of communication boosts a dog's love hormone called oxytocin. Number 10. Why Dogs Pant 
Dogs pant mainly to cool themselves down because they can't sweat like humans. Instead, panting helps them circulate cool air and evaporate water from their mouth and nose. Sometimes they pant when they're stressed or anxious, like at the vet or during loud noises like fireworks. You might notice other signs of stress along with panting, like yawning, whining, or hiding. Interestingly, dogs also pant when they're excited, like when they meet new people or get a treat. Number 9. Why Dogs Lick You Dogs may lick you for many reasons. They might want to show love or groom you to care for you. If you taste like something tasty, they might lick for that reason too. Number 8. Why Dogs Chase Their Own Tail when a dog feels stressed or bored, they might start chasing their tail to have some fun or let out extra energy. That's why puppies do it more than grown-up dogs. They have lots of energy to burn, and their wagging tail seems like a fun toy to play with. Number 7. Why Dogs Expose Their Belly to You or Other Dogs When dogs show their belly, it's usually a sign of trust and feeling safe around you. They're saying, I trust you enough not to hurt me but sometimes it's a way to avoid conflict. In the wild, wolves did this to show they're not a threat. So if a dog shows their belly to a more dominant dog or person, they might be anxious and asking for peace. Puppies often do this too. Remember, petting a dog like this can make them more nervous because you're touching a vulnerable part of their body. To understand if it's trust or appeasement, look at their whole body. A dog feeling safe will have a relaxed, wiggly body and a gently wagging tail. But a dog showing submissive behavior might crouch, freeze, or show tense body language. Number 6. Why Dog Dig Dogs dig in your yard for different reasons. They might bury toys or bones to keep them safe or to cool off in the dirt on hot days. Pregnant dogs might dig a hole as a nesting instinct for their puppies. But most of the time, dogs dig because they're bored, have extra energy to burn, or simply for fun. Number 5. Why Dogs Wink at You If your dog winks at you, it's not because they're flirting. Usually, it means something is bothering their eye, like dust, dirt, or hair. It could even be from cleaning products. If your dog winks a lot, it's best to take them to the vet to get their eyes checked. Number 4. Urine Marking some dogs mark their territory by peeing a little on vertical surfaces, often while lifting a leg. They do this to show other dogs that the area belongs to them. Peeing also tells other dogs about their reproductive status and where they stand in the pack. Both male and female dogs can do this. Dogs that haven't been neutered or spayed are more likely to mark their territory than those that have. Number 3. Why Dogs Howl Dogs howl to talk, get noticed, and say, I'm here. They might also howl when they hear ambulance or police sirens because those sounds are on the same frequency level as what they hear. So when a dog howls at a siren, they're basically chatting with their fellow helpers. Number 2. Why Dogs Yawn Many people think a yawning dog is just sleepy, but that's usually not the case. Dogs yawn to communicate. They do it when they're anxious, like in new places or around unfamiliar dogs. You'll see puppies doing this a lot around new dog friends. Dogs also yawn to show they're not a threat. If someone or something comes up to them, they might look away and yawn to say, I'm nervous, but I won't hurt you. It's their way of avoiding fights. Dogs might yawn when they're scolded or stressed too. Yawning can also help them. Number 1. Why Dogs Eat Poop Dogs like clean spaces to play and live just like you. They get rid of waste by eating it. When a mother dog has puppies, they don't know how to use the bathroom, so she eats their poop to keep their home clean. It's nature's way of keeping them healthy and protecting them. Eating poop also gives dogs important nutrients. Poop might seem gross, but it's not always dangerous. Healthy poop has harmless bacteria, water, and some undigested food. It can even help reset a dog's stomach bacteria to healthy levels. Dogs might eat horse or goose poop because it has useful enzymes and partially digested protein that are good for their digestion. If your dog is eating poop, they might need more nutrients in their diet. Sometimes, changing to a better dog food can solve the problem. Stress or anxiety can also make dogs eat poop. Research shows that dogs left alone in kennels or basements are more likely to do this than dogs who live close to people.